Imagine this. You are taking your daily vitamin D supplement to support your bones, immune system, and overall health. But do you know that without vitamin K2, you might not be getting the full benefit? In fact, the combination of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 could be the secret to stronger bones, better cardiovascular health, and more energy. Yet, this powerful duo is underutilized worldwide. As a practicing board certified physician in the United States, I have seen firsthand how a lack of vitamin K2 can lead to serious health problems, including bone loss and heart disease. But what if I reveal to you that the answer to these issues might already be in your supplement cabinet? Stick with me for the next few minutes to discover why taking vitamin D3 with vitamin K2 could change your health forever. Let's break this down. We all know about vitamin D3 and its role in promoting strong bones by helping your body absorb calcium. But are you aware that calcium can actually be harmful to your health? if it doesn't end up in the right places like your bones and teeth? Instead, calcium can accumulate in your arteries and soft tissues, increasing your risk of cardiovascular disease and even leading to weakened bones in the long run. Here is where vitamin K2 comes into play. It activates two powerful proteins, osteocarcin and matrix glar protein. These proteins are vitamin K dependent, which means they rely on vitamin K to function properly. Once osteocarcin gets activated by vitamin K2, it plays a critical role in directing calcium to the places it's needed the most, your bones and teeth, while preventing it from building up in your blood vessels, where it could lead to serious issues. And that's just the beginning. Activated matrix glar protein also kicks in, binding to calcium to stop dangerous calcification in blood vessels. This helps avoid problems like arterial stiffness and atherosclerosis, which can cause heart disease. But there's more. Vitamin K2 doesn't just protect your bones and heart, it also secretes weapon for your metabolism. Activated osteocarcin helps improve insulin sensitivity and boost energy expenditure, which could help tackle obesity, type 2 diabetes, and metabolic syndrome, big players in heart disease risk. So, not only does K2 have your bones and arteries covered, but it could also be a key piece in managing your overall metabolic health. Intrigued? Keep watching to discover how this vital nutrient works its magic. Now let's look at the clinical evidence, and this is where things get really interesting. The Framingham Heart Study, published in Journal of Classified Tissue International, revealed a surprising link. Bone loss is connected to aortic calcification. And it didn't stop there. The Rotterdam study published in Atherosclerosis in 2015 confirmed these findings. So, what does this mean for your health? One groundbreaking clinical trial published in the Journal of Orthopedic Science found that Combining vitamin D3 and K2 significantly boosted bone mineral density and lower fracture risk in postmenopausal women. But here is the kicker the benefits extend beyond bones. A review by Mandatory and team showed that K2 supplementation can not only prevent bone loss but also stop blood vessel calcification a huge win for your cardiovascular health. Now, 
In a recent randomized trial published in Circulation, researchers tested D3 and K2 on individuals with calcified aortic valves. The results were mixed. No significant improvement in the progression of valve calcification. But here is what left the investigators puzzled. The treated group showed a significant increase in bone mineral density. So what does this mean? It seems that the real power of these supplements is more about prevention than curing existing damage, which is exactly what we want for long-term health. Let's pause for a moment and reflect. As a physician, I get asked by my patients all the time when to check their calcium scores for fear of heart vessel calcification. When those numbers come back high, the next question is always, what now? The typical response is, take statins and engage in lifestyle changes based on current guidelines. But what if statins aren't the right fit due to side effects? For many, adding vitamin D3 with K2 could be the missing link they have been looking for. Personally, I have started taking the combo myself and the research speaks for itself. It's one of the top recommendations I make for anyone serious about supporting their bone and heart health. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Do you know there are different types of vitamin K2 each with its own unique benefits? The two most common are MK4 and MK7. And while both are powerful, they have different bioavailability. Let's break it down. MK4 found in animal products like eggs, meat, and cheese is quickly absorbed and utilized by the body. MK7, on the other hand, comes primarily from fermented foods like namto and certain cheeses. MK7 has a longer half-life in the body meaning it stays active for a longer period, providing sustained benefits. This makes it an excellent choice for supplementation. So why does this matter? Well, MK4 is perfect for a quick boost, while MK7 is the long-term solution for maintaining strong bones and keeping your heart healthy. The real takeaway? Vitamin K2 activates crucial proteins like osteocalcin that help ensure calcium is directed to your bones, where it belongs, not your arteries. So where can you find vitamin K2? Good news, it's easier to get than you might think. The best sources come from fermented foods and animal products. This table shows the top six sources of vitamin K2. Take Nanto, for example, a fermented soybean product that's packed with MK7, offering over 1,000% of your daily intake in just one serving. Love cheese? Hard cheeses like Gouda and Brie are fantastic sources of MK4 too. But it doesn't stop there. Egg yolks Chicken liver and grass-fed meats are also rich in MK4. Now, here is something important to keep in mind. The average Western diet is often low in vitamin K2. Why? Because most animal products come from grain-fed animals, which have much lower K2 levels. Here's where the magic happens. Leafy grains like spinach and grass are full of vitamin K1 which when consumed gets converted into vitamin K2 in the gut by enzymes. So eating more leafy greens or choosing grass-fed meat is a great way to boost your K2 intake and ensure you are getting what your body needs. Here is an important distinction you need to understand. Vitamin K1 and K2 are not the same thing. Vitamin K1 found in leafy greens like spinach and kale is mainly responsible for blood clotting. In fact, 
In clinical settings, people on blood thinners like warfarin are often given vitamin K1 to help prevent excessive bleeding. On the other hand, vitamin K2 has a completely different job. It activates proteins that guide calcium into your bones and away from your arteries, preventing harmful calcification. Many people confuse the two because they both come from the same family of vitamins, but their clinical actions are vastly different. In fact, K2 is considered your bone health vitamin, while K1 is essential for blood clotting, each playing a critical but unique role. So if you are serious about your bone health, cardiovascular health and overall wellness, taking vitamin D3 with vitamin K2 is a powerful combination. The science is clear. This combo works together to direct calcium to your bones and teeth while keeping it out of your arteries. If you are unsure whether you should start taking vitamin D3 and K2, or if you are worried about a high calcium score or bone density, I highly recommend discussing this with your healthcare provider. Always consult a professional before making changes to your supplementation regimen. Remember, your health is your greatest asset and staying informed is the key to living a long, vibrant life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more science-backed health tips. And share this with someone who could benefit from learning about the power of vitamins D3 and K2. See you in the next video.